let's check out Marvel Studios Secret Invasion to feature it. All right. Hit it. Ready! On! Action! When we start Secret Invasion, Nick Fury has been off planet. And Maria Hill has just really been trying to, you know, maintain order. But this current threat is getting out of control. Five global terrorist strikes within the past year, each one playing by a different group. It's business as usual. That's precisely what they want you to think. Nick comes back having lost whatever power he had before. So we try and solve things without being too superhuman. You going to shoot me? Maybe. Well, probably. <laughs> but not right now. We get to jump into <laughs> Nick Fury's world, which is very spy versus spy. The kind of grittiness, the locations, the way it feels, the way it's written. It's a thriller. Fury, we got to be very careful now. I had to pinch myself many mornings when I would step on set with Olivia Coleman, Sam Jackson, Don Cheadle, Amelia Clark, Ben Mendelsohn, Damn. Kingsley Benadir. I mean, some of my favorite actors in the world. Alone with us. Cast. After every Marvel film released, I would phone my agent and say, please, can I be in a Marvel thing? I never imagined it would happen. What makes you think you can get him to speak? Oh, I can be quite persuasive. I have pause it. I have pause it, yeah. Yeah. So, That's a cast. Holy crap. I'm telling man. you that that looks cinematic. You guys don't no, see that. 100%. It looks cinematic. And that's why I kept on saying, like, not that anything's wrong with the Marvels, but this looks like it's a movie. This looks, and not just a, a movie, it looks like a good movie. And it's supposed to be, what, six hour long episodes or something like that? I, I or is it think. Eight? Like that, yeah. Is it eight? It might be eight. Uh, all I know is I'll it, it looks amazing. It's an hour long episode. Each one's going to be like watching a movie. And they're putting that much yeah. money into it. That's that's a big draw. I agree. That's that's like the biggest draw for me. Like the the vibe and the tone. You know, I'm loving the um, you know, almost kind of like conspiracy, kind of political thriller esque tone. It's giving off. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's gonna be I, six. Yeah. Six. six, six. Uh, that's yeah. that's a that's a good length. That's a for it. that's a yeah. But it's yeah. six hours. So, so basically, it's a six hour movie. That we're getting, but we're, they're breaking it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, no, it's, it can't. It's oh, wait, wait. See, Travis, no, 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 no. It can't be the Andor of the MCU because stuff <laughs> is actually happening. I've seen in the trailer things actually happen. I'm still waiting for something to happen to Andor. Still waiting. <laughs> season two might it might happen though. I'm I'm, I'm waiting. It for better. I, I, I think so. it will. I think it will. I think it'll be great. So I think season two of Andor is going to be one of the things that I love the most. But, yeah, yeah, we'll see. But but this one, you know, uh, spy versus spy, like this exact, and then you get all the spy people. Maria Hill, who's a badass. Um, you know, Nick Fury comes back. I, th- I think it's cool because we're gonna get a lot of time filled in. Yeah. You know, like what has been going on with him and his building, because you know we obviously seen him in the Marvels. So you know, it, it'll be interesting to see. What was what was the last time we we saw him? Was real, real Nick Fury? Probably well, Endgame. Yeah, the end of Endgame. You know, of course it was um, in in Spider Man um, Far From Home. It was um, Far from it home. was Talos. Yep. It yeah, was already that, Talos. It was Talos but, by that time. Yeah, I would even say because at the end of Endgame, he didn't. He was just there, right? He was at the in the he funeral. Was at the funeral. Was at the, that was yeah, it. So that's we don't even know if that's him or not. You know, any really didn't do anything, but it will probably be Civil War, right? It could be. I, he wasn't. Yeah, because was Civil was, War, he, like he wind up taking off. He's like, all right, I'm gone, and then, and then uh, at, at Captain, the end of at the end of Winter yeah. Soldier. Winter Soldier. Or no, no uh, the reason I said it's because he, no, he he snapped he was, away at the end he, of um. He was in Age of Ultron briefly throughout. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but he was snapped away at in the end of uh, Infinity War. Infinity War, yeah. Mm-hmm. So if he snapped, he, they snapped him away. It wasn't a scroll, a scroll then. So I'm assuming that Endgame is probably the last time we were gonna we saw Nick Fury. Yeah, with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's a bunch of people. Uh, that new Mark Ruffalo movie looks amazing. Oh yeah, that's that's that's, that's on my list too. Yeah, we're gonna say it with Emma Stone. 
Go check that one out. Uh, I love how this show is every MCU supporting character puts, puts a beanie. <laughs> a beanie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But once we name, there was, uh, who did we see? Uh, oh, and uh, Mara Freeman is coming back yeah. to reprise his character, which I'm like, okay, you know, because he's not really a spy, but he's definitely a government agent. Goon. Yeah. Agent, yeah, <laughs> said the right for or better, but yeah, so yeah, it, it, it looks like it's going to bring in all these like agencies because then you know what's going to tie in with oh, all of uh, uh, what's her name, uh, Luis uh, Drivers' character. I have a brain fart. Yeah, uh, Valentina. Valentina. Valentina, yeah. Yeah, you know, because now she kind of runs whatever show's going on with Martin Freeman's character. Mm-hmm. So, like, are you going to int- introduce that whole section of it? You know, the, the evil Avengers? Um, yeah, that's a possible. I mean, so, and yeah. then, I mean, I mean, having Colby Smolder there, you know, having Martin Freeman there. Having Samuel Jackson makes you feel more like the original Avengers are back, you know, like he, he the people that he was putting together before, and it just feels good. It feels right. Yeah, I think it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be fun, and I hope we get a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Thought her name was Viagra Deep Plain Taint. <laughs> I mean, if you want to call her that, yeah, that <laughs> that'd hey, be funny. You get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, all right, you want to finish watching it? Yeah. I think, yeah, it's a minute left. Looking at the MCU through these different lenses, you get to see all these different sides of the characters, and we get to really sort of dig into who they are. How much do you know about your security detail? What do you mean, how much do I know about it? This idea of, of who can you trust, that is really the heart of the show. It could be talking to somebody who you have a very close relationship with, and then you find out that that's not who you thought it was. It becomes sort of a cat and mouse game that we, we build toward to the end of the show. You can't predict it and you can't preempt it and you can't fathom it until it happens. I'm Nick Fury. Even when I'm out, I'm in. June. That's exciting. Yeah. Ready! Samuel Jackson is just off the chain. <laughs> That's just who he is, man. It's just he's just the coolest dude in the world, no matter what's going on. Yeah. You know? Like, he just every time I see him, like even if he's doing a spy movie, it's feel like he's he's shaft. You know? <laughs> and every time he speaks, I'm waiting for him to say, Tyler's motherfucking snakes. Those motherfucking things. Like, it's just, that's how I feel all the time. I mean, I think this is going to be awesome. It's going to be well written. And, you know, we're going to enjoy this journey. And it's not going to be filled with superheroes. It's just people. Yeah. And I was, I that's I was, cool. I was, was just about to mention that. I like that it's, that it seems kind of like in its own little corner. It's, it doesn't seem like it's too focused on world building or kind of expanding or like, oh, this is connected to this. So you got to watch this next. So, sometimes it's nice to just kind of go back and have, you know, kind of individual stories that are that are like exactly that more individual and just kind of in their own little corner. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Because I like yeah. about Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, I mean, a lot of people were complaining about that, but I was like, no, I'm kind of glad like that's not. And also, I, I, I do agree. I think that's going to be how this is. But I think by the end, if they don't think if they don't got things figured out with you know all the scroll kind of hiding amongst us, I feel like it could become a bigger problem. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. I mean, so it'd be like right now it's its own thing that could set up a bigger thing later, which is kind of interesting. And I feel like that's how the show should work. It's like, hi, hey, we're doing this thing. We're telling a story. It might or might not affect things down the road. You know, you know. You're going to see this be revisited a little bit somewhere. I hope so. I think that's what's going to happen. And I think you're going to see in the Marvels. I think you're going to see anytime you're going to see Nick Fury. Unless Nick Fury dies, you're going to see it. Yeah. Yeah, right. We got a big 40 entertainment. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? What's going on? I know he had a a big panel the other day with a a bunch of people. I would have been there to just argue. (laughs) 
just argue no matter what. What are we yeah. arguing about? Doesn't matter. I'm figuring yeah. out what. I'm gonna start arguing with, with Zach the other day. I was looking. <laughs> he's what he said something, and I totally disagree with him. And I was like, "Oh, I, I remember what it was. It was about uh, the Captain America being the best trilogy." I, I, I thought. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say you must be smoking. You m- better than better, better than the Avengers. Better I than, mean. I, no, it, no. It, it could be in the possibility because those those first those last two were great. But I mean, we already kind of watched that. There, there's a video. I'll put, you know, I'll put the video up there somewhere. You can watch us kind of ranking it. But yeah, yeah. Uh, let's save that one. For later. Hey, that's good. The last, last king on Quantum Mania is a scroll. And then that, and that's how you, you can get out of Jonathan Majors. <laughs> well, they already showed a scroll, though. We're at the end where they're all screaming like yeah. crazy people for for some reason I don't know why. <laughs> like it shows a scroll version of 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 Kane. So I mean, there's two. I don't know. But Man, it's funny. So this is gonna wait till June 13th to do anything with Jonathan Majors. So yeah, but we'll yeah. find out about that then. Yeah, I mean, maybe we'll talk, we'll talk about it a little bit more once there's actual information. Yeah, you know, another month. I know, which just sucks, but you know, um, you saw what happened, and they changed mm-hmm. all the charges were changed again. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, well, you just want, you could just change it. You could say I did something one thing, and you could change it again. I guess. I mean, unless he did it, so that's, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. glad I don't have to figure that stuff out. I'm glad it's above my pay grade. I'm glad I'm just <laughs> here just to watch movies and talk about them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'll give a shout out to uh, uh, Chillmonger. You know, he's a, he's a friend of the show. Um, he he kind of whenever there's new info, he kind of goes out there and talks. And he's he's obviously a big uh, Jonathan Major supporter. So, um, you know, and he kind of goes out there and kind of points out a lot of stuff that people are talking about. But it's info that's out there. So. So definitely, if you if you are interested in, in that part of <laughs> of Jonathan Majors, you know, check out Chillmonger. He, he does some uh, interesting videos on that. He I did agree. one the other day. It's, it's, he did it two days ago. It was really yeah. good. That was a good and one. I I agreed with a lot that he said too. I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, but yeah, this one just looks so good. Even when I get in this uh, section here, I'm sure shit, where he's like, "Are you gonna shoot me?" He goes. No, nah, probably, maybe, probably. <laughs> Didn't that yeah. just seem, seem like Jules? You know, like from um, Pulp Fiction. Oh, Pulp, Pulp Fiction. Fiction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe, but probably, probably. Yeah, probably. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I was waiting for him to say, "Reach in that bag and pull out my wallet." Which one is that? The one that says "bad <laughs> motherfucker" on it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> I actually have that wallet. <laughs> yeah. If if he just pulls out the wallet and it just it's the same wallet, I would. I, I'll just. Uh, they don't reference it. They don't talk about it. They just pull it out and you, they just show it for a quick second. Everyone would awesome. love it. I that mean, would be it, awesome. It'd just be, it'd just be perfect. Wouldn't that be perfect though? Yeah. Come on. It man. also would kind of be an fu to Tarantino because Tarantino hates these uh, comic book yeah. movies. Yeah. So it'd be like, okay, <laughs> we're gonna take one of your biggest movies and put a little reference in there. And, screw you oh man i love anything that connects with tarantino i'm okay with yep um i don't know anything else on this one no i, I can't wait for it to come out june yeah. it's going to be awesome uh, do we have time to watch this with all the movies that are coming out in june <laughs> I, i'm gonna make time because i mean we, we, we yeah. have to we have to make time that's what we do yeah, i don't know I, I, I might i might <laughs> i might live in, uh, in watch spider-man you know 15 times the first week. <laughs> By the time we do a review, I probably will have seen it 15 times. <laughs> You're oh, yeah, still I'm, in the theater? <laughs> like, bye from the theater 15 times, guys, look. <laughs> you know, if if I if I can, Spider-Verse might even be like a Thursday night um, showing for me. We'll see. Thursday yeah. night, Friday morning. Mm-hmm. I'm going to yeah. say, we'll see it again. <laughs> pop, pop up a tent in there. Yeah. See see what see what our time frame looks like for whatever we're recording that Thursday night, and I might just, depending on how late the showings are, I might just go to the theater after. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, but yeah. it's June twenty yeah. first, so and Spider Man comes out the beginning of June, so you got all a little right. bit of time. All right, so yeah, we get we Beast Wars, we get all the stuff that we need. 
and then yeah. we get Secret Invasion. Yeah, yeah, but that's good. It's gonna be good. I'm ex- I'm super excited about it. It looks good. Great, a- great actors. That's insane how they got so many actors, and it's not even a movie. Like, can you imagine getting all these actors and they're like, oh, but you're gonna be in this TV show, you know? And then they give you a list of all the other actors. Like, okay, and it's that's gonna be the best this- damn TV show. This feels like a cinema cinematic presentation, yeah. you know, and like and yeah. so it shows that they know how to do it, and there's gonna be action going on and espionage. Yeah, yeah. We we need we need more content like that in the MCU just for the sake of keeping things fresh. And like I said, I I'm loving that it's really just its own kind of self-contained story. Br- we we need bring 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 self-contained stories back. Yeah, that's, that's what I that's what I think. You know, yep. we need more of those. Not not everything needs to be interconnected. Not everything needs to be you know like kind of planting the seeds for for like this Avengers movie or this next movie. Just brand man about uh, to get black bag. No, it's, it's, <laughs> this is about no. to be a giant hand just grabs him and then takes him off. Feige, yeah. Feige doesn't like those things. You can't say that. Feige yeah. robot will come get you. The Kevin. I'll, I'll, Kevin. I'll, I'll, I'll fight the Feige robot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're not taking me. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, for the for a while I was always I'm like, oh, but it's not connected. And then now now I'm like, you know what? I just want a good freaking story. Like set yeah. in the universe, but it doesn't need to be directly connected to anything else in the universe. But yeah, maybe maybe we got a maybe we got a little it's great it's great to see and it's always fun to see. But I think maybe we got a little corrupted by that. Yeah. Or a little spoiled by that at times. Yeah. But um, you know, it's just, you know, just, just for the sake of keeping keeping things fresh. I'm I'm really, really excited um for this to see where they go with it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And obviously once June twenty first happens, whatever that next I think that's probably a Wednesday. Um, but when that happens, we're we're gonna review and talk about it yeah, yeah. so it'll be wednesdays so the next day on thursday we're oh yeah it's happening. first thing yeah. first thing yeah so yeah we're gonna be super super excited super talking about it but cool um that's it for secret invasion little featurette hopefully we don't get too copyright claimed from that one <laughs> uh, but leave a comment let us know what you think about it and if you're watching live stick around we're gonna talk about some other stuff if you're watching on replay appreciate it hit the subscribe button hit that like button hit that like button as well um, we are on our way to a thousand so make sure you hit the subscribe button and be part of the spoiler kings channel so you can be part of the giveaway once we hit one thousand 